This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Do you want your computer to lock up every time you leave your desk? Or perhaps you're like me and you always forget to lock your Windows desktop when you leave for work in the morning and you have your PC open to anybody in the household. I do that all the time, yeah. Here's something to help. It's from SourceForge, it's this free weird called the Bluetooth Proximity Lock Utility. And its name says it all. It's a utility that locks your computer via Bluetooth once you leave the proximity of your PC. All right, pretty easy to get. First off, you need to download the .exe and install it on your Bluetooth-enabled computer, and I'll have the link in the show notes. You open BT Prox and you click the button right next to Use Device. Now, you should already have Bluetooth cut on on whatever you're going to use, whether that be a Bluetooth mouse or your cell phone, although it would look kind of funny if you were walking away from your desk with a Bluetooth mouse, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of obvious. So you turn on your Bluetooth, like so. All right, Bluetooth on, and then you click the three little buttons right here, three little dots. And it should see, ooh, look, there's a desktop computer, cool. That's not mine. So you click on Snub's iPhone, or whatever you have, click OK. And then the next piece down here is timeout, and you can choose how many minutes you want it to wait until it times out after you have left the proximity. So say my proximity for my phone and my Bluetooth connection to my laptop would be 30 feet or so. After that time, I leave that 30 foot range, it'll give me one minute to you know, get back to it before it'll actually lock it. So you can change that to anything higher than that. It can't go any lower than one minute, which is kind of a bummer. I wish it would. Well, maybe I can set it to zero minutes. Let's see what happens. Then you also have some choices down here. Lock command, you can put it in some kind of bash file or a script and have it run that after you lock it. You can also do the same thing for a release command. And then you click start or stop, hide and exit. So I'm going to click start. So the next thing you're going to notice when you have this running is it's going to give you a little bubble down in the corner like my computer has here. Next to this orange icon, it says device found, device snubs his iPhone is in range. And then as you leave the range of the Bluetooth uh, BT Prox program, it'll turn red and then it'll say snubs his iPhone has left the proximity. And it'll eventually lock after a minute. So if you have a rubber ducky or somebody that you know has a rubber ducky, this might not be a very good program because it a rubber ducky can run in less than a minute, and you could probably get owned, you know, reverse shelled or what have you. And there's also a version for Linux, though. Now, this Linux version is called Blue Proximity. It's not the same program exactly, but this version will actually give you a choice. So you can change your proximity range from, say, 30 feet to 1 foot or 5 feet, whatever you, whatever you want. So it, I actually think that the Linux version would be a lot more helpful, especially in a secure environment. So, what do you think? Email me over at feedback at hack5.org, or you can comment in the section below. Coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first, let's take a break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. Be sure to watch the new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. Are you tired of lugging stuff around airports? I know I am. In the latest episode, Ben builds the robot luggage with the help of Jesse Robinson. Go to element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win Ben's latest build from the show. Wait a minute. I'm not Darren. Well, anyway, I have a nibble for you guys this week. This one comes from Fillion. He sent in the Windows 7 Logon Background Changer, and it's super easy to use. You just go over to the link in the show notes that I have down here, and you click Download. And you download this cute little program. Let me open it for, for you real quick. 
All right, so this is the Windows 7 logon background changer. You can change the settings up at the top so that other people can't log on and change the background as well. It could just be you, the administrator. You can also go over here and choose a folder if you don't like all the ones that they have built in at the bottom. You know, rainbows and butterflies and crazy, creepy cartoon characters that are built into Windows 7. I don't know about all that stuff. So I chose a different folder. I'm going to use my cat. And I can choose a picture. Oh, I really like that one. So I can set it as a login background of my cat. Click apply. It says please wait. The background wallpaper is being applied. And when it's finished, you can log off and check out your brand new background. So thank you, Fillion, for sending in this nibble this week for myself. And you can always send in your nibbles and maybe possibly get some stickers sent to you from me over at hack5.org nibble.